Okay, in this question, we want to find the length of the arc for RT is equal to the uh, vector 2T, comma, 3 sine T, comma, 3 cosine T from the point 0, comma, 0, comma, 3, 2, 4 pi, comma, 0, comma, 3. And we'll solve this question using the TI. But before we can even use a calculator, we need to come up with a way to get 0, comma, 0, comma, 3. If T is equal to 0, we'll have a match, but we'll test it out. So we say t is equal to 0, so this works. 3 sine 0 would also be 0, so that works. 3 cosine 0 would be 3, so this we would get by t equals 0. Similarly, we need to do this. So how can we get 4 pi if t is 2 pi? 3 sine 2 pi would also be 0, so that's good. 3 cosine 2 pi would be 3. So it's going to be from uh, t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 2 pi. And the uh, formula for arc length is denoted by these two. And so we know our a would be 0 and our b would be 2 pi. And now we need to calculate the derivative of rt and then get the magnitude. So let's do that. So first we will write what we have for r. So we can say r is defined as we use square brackets to represent vectors. So we say 2t comma 3 sine t comma 3 cosine t like this. So this is what we have currently. And now we want to get the derivative of it. So we hit menu, calculus, derivative in terms of dt. And we want the derivative of this. So we can go up hit enter and that's the, the derivative of RT and so the next thing we need to do is get the magnitude or norm so we do uh, menu 7 for matrix 7 for norm and then 1 norm is the same thing as magnitude so we will likewise go up get the magnitude of this hit enter and it's the square root of 13 so now we're almost there so we say menu calculus integral we said a was 0, and we said b was 2 pi, 2 pi, and now we said that this right here is square root of 13, so we're almost there. So we type in uh, square root of 13 dt, and then hit enter, and that's our answer. That is the length of the arc for our given problem, and that's it.